Hey, how you guys doing? Girl, I got some tea for y'all. Y'all, listen, before I spill this tea, I'm gonna need you to like the video, share the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, Gossip Girl XOXO. All right, all right, so here we go. Nicki Minaj, she has been in the news time and time again, girl, but guess what? Her brother is in the news again, and guess what I hear? They have a hearing for his spine this Friday, um, Friday the 13th. Now, you know that's some scary shit. Shh, 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 shh. What the hell? Shh, what the shh, hell is going on? Jason Voorhees shit right here. All right, yeah, so I have my friend King here. He's gonna, he's here to help me read, making all that goddamn Jason noise. So let's go down here. Let's see. You ready, King? Go uh, ahead. I'm ready. All right. So for Wednesday, September 11th, 2019, the hearing date is set for Jelani Mirage. It's been nearly two years since Nicki Minaj's brother Jelani was convicted of rape and has yet to be sentenced. A status hearing for Jelani is set for this week. According to public records, Jelani is due in court on Friday, September the 13th, 2019. All right. So let me give you guys some of the backstory of the rap sheet on this fucking asshole. So... All right, first things first, he's got a felony count, not an arrest charge, not an arraignment, but an arraignment charge for predatory sexual assault against a child. He has a class B felony of one count with no arrest charge, not an arraignment charge for sexual conduct against a child under the age of 13. He has one count, not an arrest, but an arraignment charge for the endangerment of the injuries of, of a child. And we also have a class D felony of one car for coarse sexual conduct in the second degree. That is fellatio for all of you non-legal people out there. So this guy's going through it, like, you know, throw the brick at this asshole, put him under the jail. But, you know, barbs come at me, but, you know, like this, this is not OK. Like, is this OK, Gigi? No, don't put, listen, uh, hell no, it's not okay. I don't exactly. care who That's brother all we it own. is. That's all we own. Yeah. All right, more on the attorney information of this man. Um, Mr. David Schwartz will be defending Mr. Mirage in the private, and he's retained. They're going to be in court um, then this Friday, and the judge is Mr. R. McDonald. Okay, now what is all this stuff right here? Well, this is pretty much everything he's been going through since he's been clinked up. Um, if I can see here, he's had three hearings between April and March, March and April, pardon me, and I'm dyslexic with my months. And then he's had four conferences between June and August, and he got sentenced on the 13th, and it was cert set to be sentenced on the 13th, pardon me, folks. Mm -hmm. So he's just so been going back and forth, and I want to give you guys like a little bit of the synopsis of what went going on in all of these things. So if... Okay. Scroll down. Yeah. So he. Go ahead. So the hearings continued, and basically, all the judge is really doing, he's hearing what he's got to say. You know, Mirage and his lawyer are going back and forth. They're, be they're begging for mercy, guys. And in the end of it, the judge is just basically saying, yeah, in one ear, out the other, but I'll do this for you. I'll give you protective custody. So he's basically in PC right now, and the notes right here are telling me adjourned temporary order of protection is sued, remained. So he's basically gotten the same judgment every time. So the judge will listen to him for however long him and his lawyer are talking and just put him in PC at the end of it. So it's not looking good for him. And now PC, it, is he in jail? Yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure, all right? Uh, he's uh, he's in jail, but he will be in prison um, in the short future. So when is this going to stop, all this hearing? Because Friday, what, it's going to be just another hearing? Uh, Friday, sh hopefully it's a sentencing. But, you know, this shit, you know, go into the new year. Like, we should be over and done with this shit by December at the latest. Mm. You know, because, like, you know, shit like this, I mean, I don't know all the facts of the case and everything, but, you know. Well, for some you know, of you guys that did not know, you guys know Nicki Minaj's brother, um, was I believe he got married to this girl and he was touching on the daughter of the wife that, you know, the girl that he married. Sweet. And she said that she ain't know nothing about it cause she'll go home. And then the, the little brother, you know, cause she had two kids. She had a daughter and a, a son and the son called him in one situation, honey. And it was just a whole mess and a whole scandal. 
Um, so can you read some of the comments that the people got to say? Go ahead. All right, all right. Uh, this is from Anonymous. Her brother is nuts, and so is Nicki Minaj. Don't oh, <laughs> listen, hold on. You said, listen. I'm I just thought, reading the comments, bars. I know. Like, I don't feel this way about Nicki. You know, I don't really feel much about Nicki. But, you know. Listen, yeah. let me tell y'all. I thought that end, it was like, never mind. So I'm glad you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Where would never ahead. mind come? Her brother is nuts, the and so N is never mind. M, never mind. But this word, I know, I didn't it, pay baby. attention. Goddamn. Well, all I'll right. help you with that. Thank you. Second one. I wonder, will all this be a topic on Queen Radio? Hell no. Hell no. Like, go ahead. You no, know, like we, we great minds think alike. Number three. R N N Y C says all pedophiles should be burned at the stake, mm. which you are. All right, another one, number four. I'm starting to think maybe Nikki was a victim. I say so because she supports predators. Takashi, I cannot spell her brother, her husband, etc. It's just a pattern of behavior, and it's not a good look. My gosh, somebody's really observant. Like I, I didn't even put all that together. Mm -hmm. It's starting to starting to add up now. I'm seeing the writing on the wall. Okay. And this is from Bean Town Bully. Um, he says, right at 11.34 a.m., this hoe supports rapists and pedos, and she's not going to speak on it. And if this was a regular nin ninja, I mean, this must be a white guy, he would have been sentenced. Well, that uh, it, just because he used ninja, I use ninja sometimes because I don't want to stay inward because it's offensive. But, okay, we're going to continue on. All righty. For number six, uh, Nikki sure do love her felons. She all the way screwed up. Mm. Number seven, she might be, she might have been a victim, 1245. She seems to have normalized predators in her life. So That's comment, sad. you guys, let us know what you guys feel like, That's because sad. these people feel like Nicki Minaj is a victim herself. Do you think that could be happening? Because they said that her husband now was convicted when he was like young of doing the same thing. Uh -huh. And then so is, I guess, Takashi. And um, that was a, a rapper that she was featuring with that she, well, I guess, know, liked who, a lot. They know so. who that rainbow guy yeah. is. See, I don't know much about rappers. I tell I tell all y'all, I don't know what I got damn rappers. But anyway. <laughs> all right. Go ahead. Ooh, this one had a lot to say. Well, like, read you know, it. All right. Go ahead. So this is number eight. There was a blind item that her brother was molesting her as a child. Her mother knew, and because her brother was a favorite child, allowed it to happen. Based on the bl based on the blind item, it is inferred that Nikki M suffered from narcissistic mother who was abusive as well. Mm. Her attraction to toxic men is typical for victims or narcissistic abuse. Ditto for those who grew up in the hood and think that men behaving badly is sexy with two X's and attractive in some sick manner. Ditto mm. for women who assume verbal, emotional, or physical abuse is a sign of love. You cannot convince these types of people that their poor choices, preferences are doing them harm. Cardi B suffering from this type of thinking. Ditto for Lil' Kim and countless others. Woo! Now, if they did not preach the choir. They say ditto a lot, but, you know, I can see where they're coming at with all I this. I definitely understand where they're coming from. See, and you like know what? This type of mentality is passed on into our young girls and our young boys. So it becomes normalized in our society. This is some cyclical bullshit. Y'all out there have got to, like, be the difference maker. Uh, parents, pay close attention to your children. Watch who the fuck they spend but their time But times out, with. you're telling parents to spend close enough to their kids, but these parents are the ones that's shaking their mind a Cardi B and having their little kids shaking it too. These parents need to get their mind right then. Because children follow after the parents. Where are they going to learn this stuff from? Not saying putting all the onus on them, but what you can do to prevent this stuff is like, you know, try to be a better example for your children and not, you know, pay, have them pick up bad habits. That sounds good, you guys. But these parents today is trying to be like love and hip-hop. Oh, yes, They're they trying are. to be like Real Housewives of Atlanta. They're bicker with each other. They fight with their boyfriend, make up to make up, you know, do because they trying to be another Jocelyn and Stevie J, and they think that behavior is cute. I have actually seen girls... Look at love and hip hop. Be like, that's how I be. Yeah, but that's what you know. They get so hyped and all in it, and it be you know. Once yeah. they in that situation, they feel like a Jocelyn. They feel like a Nicki Minaj. They you know, these are people that they idolize. These people they want to be them. I feel sorry for the kids. I really do. So 
You want to read some more? Oh, yeah. I would definitely read some more. I like okay. reading. All right. For number nine, not the one said at 12.45 and 2.45 p.m., it really makes one start to question that because how it is that her brother and soon-to-be husband are on the sex offenders list and doesn't seem to bother her not one bit. Mm. Oh, my God. See, I didn't know shit about her, like her husband or whatever the fuck, but, you know, this, this is true. This ain't a good look, Nikki. Like, you might... Well. Comment, comment. I don't think she care what nobody think, but go ahead. All right, so number 10, Mr. Anonymous, at 2.33 p.m., Stockholm Syndrome. Sympathy for your abuser, normalizing the behavior in one's mind because it happened to them so often. They see no issue when it happens to others. Battered women and molestation victims suffer from these things horribly. Take a look at both MJ and R. Kelly. They were both molested by adults when they were children. You would assume that they would hate molesters instead of becoming one as an adult. Sadly, many who were violated became predators and later in life. Think about it. How many people grew up in homes with domestic violence took place with only the what well, only to grow up and beat their partners and become victims too? You would think that you they would be do anything not to turn out like that, but it's so normal to them that they grow up and follow the same pattern. I mean, do we have psychiatrists in the comment section? You know, I think it's just people with common sense, you know, and they're on the outside looking at it and they see the pattern and they've been around people of uh, this type of behavior. Because I know a lot of older women will tell their daughters, just like that Wait and Exhale uh, episode when she said, you know, he's abusive and he got a wife and she said, stay in there. He's a good man. Okay, you ain't gonna find no other good man like that, you know? Keep a beating. Just like Ike, you know how Ike and uh, Tina, Tina mother, mm -hmm. Tina mother knew she was getting beat on, but she, as long as she got paid, she was okay with it. So I think that this is not nothing new. This has been going on for generations and generations and generations, and now it's probably just coming out more into the open. But this has been going on for the beginning of time. Somebody's got to break this chain. This is sad. I mean, my heart goes out to any girl that's got to deal with something like this. My heart goes out to any girl or any child that has ever been abused in any way, Definitely. shape, or form. Definitely. But uh, this and, is this is terrible. And now, more than ever, it seems to be more glamorized in somewhat shape or form. Ain't it sad though that they they glamorize is the verb that you're using to sit to describe what these people are doing with this type of shit right here. Like this is fucked up. All the way. All right. Well, comment. Let us know what you guys think. And thank you, King, for joining us. Not a problem. And I will see you guys sooner than later. Bye.